Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about walking. Walking is something that I find really beneficial both to my mind and my body, and there's a lot of scientific evidence backing that up. Like if you do a web search, you'll find tons and tons of evidence about how good walking is for you. When people think about exercise, I find in our society they often think more about like more vigorous forms of exercise, like running or playing a vigorous sport or going to the gym and lifting weights and things like that. But walking is exercise, and especially if you do a lot of it, it can be really beneficial. Uh, so here I want to talk about different ways that I've found to fit more walking into my life in a way that is really beneficial. So the first one is that whenever I have a job that involves sitting, so uh, like an office job or a job that involves working at the computer, uh, I like to get up a lot. So I stand up, I walk around, like if, I, if I'm placing a phone call, uh, I use my cell phone most of the time, and I get up and I pace, I walk around. Uh, I actually work from home in my apartment, but I've done this in office jobs. Uh, even like if I have a, cord, a, a phone on a cord, I still like sometimes like to stand up and do that. So another thing that I like to do is just take frequent breaks and walk around. I find that like the minute I get stuck on something, if I stand up and I start moving, it's often like I get unstuck very quickly. Uh, and I often find that I think more optimistically and more rationally when I'm walking. So uh, that's something that's really beneficial. The next thing though that I want to talk about is walking to get places. So. In the United States, especially in many parts of the United States, this can be very hard because, unfortunately, much of the U.S. has been designed around the car. And that's something I really hate and I want to change it, but we're kind of stuck with it in the short term. Even if you live in an area, though, that is car-oriented, there may be places you can still walk. I would challenge you, whether you live in a walkable area or an area that's not very walkable, to think about all the places you go in your daily life. And I bet you'll find some that are within a couple miles. And maybe you're like, oh, that's like two miles or a mile and a half, that's kind of far to walk. Uh, I sometimes think that myself. And it is too far if I'm in a hurry. But like the other day I wanted to go somewhere and it was a mile and a half. And I was like, you know, I have time today, it's a nice day, I'm going to walk there. And I did, and I felt great, and then I walked back. And it did take some time out of my day, but it was well worth it. If you are thinking in the long term, though, you have a lot more choice about your uh, ability to walk to get places, because you can choose where you live. Virtually every metro area has some neighborhoods and sort of regions within it that are more walkable than others. And if you choose to live in a more walkable area, you will find it much easier to walk places. So for example, where I live right now, I live in Jenkintown, which is a small town that's also a suburb of Philadelphia. And Jenkintown is very walkable. It has a little downtown business district with cafes and businesses, and there are a number of them that I frequent regularly. There's like a post office that I can walk to. I can actually walk to two post offices, which is kind of cool. Lots of places I can walk to, so I walk a lot. The last thing I want to talk about is, regardless of where you are in your life, uh, you probably have a lot of choice over these little things that would allow you to walk more like in the middle of different activities that you're doing. So for example, if you're in an office building and you're going up four stairs, four flights of stairs, or like ten flights of stairs, you might think, oh, that's a long way, I'm going to take the elevator. But you also have a choice, you can walk. And I found that sometimes that vigorous exercise I get by climbing up a whole bunch of stairs is just what I need when I've been doing sort of sedentary activities. Like it keeps my mind fresh and it's just like, yeah, it's awesome. So that's one time I found that you can do something like that. Another is like if I'm stuck shopping in an area that's very car oriented and there's this like sea of strip malls and parking lots and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the times I want to go to more than one store that's kind of in the same area, because they do still tend to cluster together. And so instead of driving from one end of the strip mall to the other, or from one shopping plaza to the other, I'll leave my car at the first store that I go to, and then I will walk to the other stores. And I find that a lot of sort of 
extra benefits of that. Like one is that I get to walk by other businesses and sometimes I discover other businesses that way. But then I get more exercise too. So I also want to conclude, walking doesn't just benefit you, it benefits everybody. Because it benefits uh, the environment, because you're burning less gasoline, uh, generating less pollution, you're generating less noise, and by keeping your car off the road when you're going places, um, you're helping to reduce traffic. So all the people who are still driving, you're helping them as well by reducing the amount of traffic. So I think walking is awesome, and I think it's worth thinking hard and dedicating a lot of energy to figuring out how we can do more of it, especially when we're walking instead of driving a car. So if you have any tips that I haven't mentioned that you'd like to share, please share them because I would love to hear from you. Uh, and if you like what I have to say, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.